Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3, the bonus episodes. Uh, in the last one, we were sitting here in the in the in the salmon team mini game side quest bonus stuff, and we're working on people's hangouts. Guess who's next? Tanko! That's who we're gonna hang out with next. I got my present list up and ready to go. Let's hang out with my girl Tanko. What does the generate the generate mail want from me? Um, uh, I would like to hang out with you if you if you don't mind. Our male's waging a war on girls. It's kill or be killed. Is that it? Sneak attack. Then I will not go down without a fight. Come at me, bro. This girl, this girl is such a he-man, woman hater, but the opposite, a woman man, he man hater. Uh, what? Uh, no, he a uh, uh, she woman, man hater. Does that work? Yeah, there you go. She woman man hater. That's the words. Uh, I spent considerable time convincing Tenko not to hurt me. Please don't toss me. Ultimate Judo Master. Or Ultimate Aikido Master. Was it Aikido Master? I think it was Aikido Master. Anyway, let's give her a present, shall we? This one should be pretty easy to get to. Well, if we have any, I don't have any boba tea. She likes this. We don't have any. <coughs> we. Oh. That was disgusting. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Not because of the sound, but because it was disgusting and made my eyes water. Holy shit. Anyway, this bitch likes Astro Cake. Let's give it to her before I start crying from that disgusting burp. Holy shit. Jesus. Ugh. Gotta remember I'm on candid camera right now. Ugh. Not bad, Shuichi. You actually made me really happy. Don't. Don't. But don't assume you can appease me. Girls are not that simple. Uh huh. Sure. I think I'm regretting this a little bit. I want to ask my past self why he thought it was a good idea to hang out with Tenko. Uh, um, uh, 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 um. Is that a hiss or is that his? I don't know. Um, what? Give me a reaction already. I don't know what else to do. Uh, 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 you don't know what to do? Hey, Tenko, what are you trying to do? I am intimidating you. Uh, Ah, that's what I thought. Why are you trying so hard to intimidate me? Degenerate male. Yeah, you're one of those. That kind of honesty is certainly refreshing. Mm -hmm. What were you thinking inviting me to hang out with you? Wait, actually, I already know. You're trying to get rid of me first so you can sexually harass the other girls. No. Uh, no I, I don't think so. Why do you hate men so much, Tenko? It was a simple enough question. Uh -huh. Sure, I don't see why not. Why? Huh? Little did I know what wrath I had wrought upon myself. Uh-oh. You gotta be kidding me! Of course you males wouldn't know! You're the worst, lowest, most evil scum! Uh. Uh. Listen up! Degenerates always need a reason for everything, don't they? And you don't even know why you're scum because you don't criticize yourself. Master said so too. As long as there are selfish males, I will never master Neo Aikido. Huh? Uh, what kind of logic is that? Also, I'm just realizing how, how fuzzy I am all of a sudden. Why am I so fuzzy? Let's see if we can fix the fuzzy. I'm sorry I'm so fuzzy. It just it just occurred to me how fuzzy I am with all the yellow. Maybe it's just because the yellow. Stop being so yellow, Shuichi. Let me see if I can just fix that a little bit. I don't really know which one's going to fix that, though. Whoa, that's not it. That's not the one. <sighs> I don't know... Is that helping? I don't feel like that helps. You know what? Let's just leave it alone. It's just because the yellow is bleeding through. It's whatever. You can kind of see through my shirt because of the yellow. I don't know why that is. Oh well. Anyway, let's get back to the game. I'm sorry for such distractions. Live LPs. Gotta love them. What kind of logic is that, bitch? Are you asking me questions like that to get closer to me? As I thought, there are no pros to males other than they were born from women. You're the worst of the worst! Can't you see I'm looking at you in disgust? But you're still coming closer to me. Why, God, why? Why would you create degenerate males? Girls would be able to live in peace if you degenerates disappeared from this world. <laughs> I knew it! Males are actually created by the devil, right? Wait! Tenko, calm the fuck down. Just shut up for a minute. I'm just gonna say calm down. Wait! Calm down! I have no idea what you're talking about. What? I am calm, upset, but still calm. No. 
You don't seem very calm. It may not seem like it to a degenerate, but I'm super duper calm for a girl. Uh, no. Every other girl here way more calm than you, dude. This conversation's going nowhere. Hey. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Just calm down a minute. And this is where I made my second mistake. I grabbed her shoulder. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just like a degenerate male. I knew you'd try to touch me. Huh? What? Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's why she's an Aikido master. She throws males down. Uh. Ow! Why did you throw me? Ah, you just touched me, didn't you? Wait. Touch you? You touched me when you threw me. What is this? Yeah, which is technically touching me. Huh? Oh, way to twist words, lawyer. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh wow! What a what a hangout that was. She tossed me a couple times, and that's the end. You know, it's not a bad hangout for a female. I'd like to have one that would just toss me around a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I was thrown several more times, blacked out, and then woke up on my bed. <laughs> what happened? Did Tenko carry me here? Nah. Yeah. She felt bad. Even though she whooped Joe Candy ass. Alright, anyway. Still got time. Let's go hang out with my girl Tenko some more. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Tanko, we gonna hang out with you, babe. Oopsies, I didn't mean to skip that, but whatever. Is it possible for a degenerate to talk to me without an ulterior motive? Maybe you mastered your facial muscles to prevent me from reading your thoughts. Yeah, that's it. You freaking nailed it, dude. This girl's genius. I spent some time thinking, to, uh, explaining to Tanko that I had no ulterior motives. I already seen you topless. You just had your boobs face down. It's not like it's not like you really have much left of the imagination. Anyway, let's go ahead and give her another gift. I don't have another number nine to give her, unfortunately. Next one on the list is twenty tree, which is one of these, which I don't have any more of. Twenty four is also there. Twenty six is also there. I have six of these. Perfect. Why does she like these shitty ass sweaters? I don't know, but this is all she's getting for the rest of the way because I got six of them. Should have noted that earlier. What? Even though you're a male, you gave me a gift that would make someone happy. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so easy to overcome with just this. Please don't underestimate me. I'm sorry. Shuichi, about before, I'm sorry for throwing you. But it's because you're a degenerate male. Blame yourself for being born that way. That doesn't sound much like an apology. Uh, um... I woke up in bed. Did you carry me back to my room, Tenko? Uh -huh. I didn't want to, but I couldn't just leave you there. It was bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, you may not have anything else going for you, but at least you have guts. Why? Guts? You still came to talk to me, even though I threw you like a, around like a rag doll. You might have an ulterior motive like most males, but you have a lot of courage. <laughs> Unless you're one of those degenerates who enjoys, enjoys being stepped on. Oh God, are we gonna? Are we really gonna do the stepped on thing? Can we not talk about being stepped on? That just sounds painful, man. You're the worst. You're a tough nut to crack. Wait. No, no, that's wrong. I don't have a fetish or anything. At least not one that I know of yet. Hey. Tenko, you always take the conversation too far. Maybe try calming down a little. Huh. What do you know? I'm much calmer than before. Huh? You're calmer than before? That's right. Yeah, my parents told me I used to have anger tantrums similar to an exploding volcano. A, a volcano? How bad was she? But... I guess my parents are pretty worried about that. They, they thought I wouldn't be able to fit into society that way. So they sent me to a temple to help discipline my mind. Piece of cake. And as a result of my training, I became the calm and composed girl I am today. You mean you were worse than this at some point? Holy moly. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, I um, see. Well, that's good. Yes. Yeah, it's good I can casually talk to people now. Hmm. It was that bad? That's right. I thought I was talking normally before, but I realized others couldn't tolerate me anymore. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure my parents never expected my accomplishment with the head priest. What did you do with the head priest? We created Neo Aikido together. What? How does Aikido fit into all that? That at all? <laughs> During my mental training at the temple, I called the head priest Master, because proper titles are necessary. Master was very pleased about this and added a new rule to the temple. He declared that he was the master of martial arts, because he is just that important. No. That important, huh? Listen up. We decided to create a martial arts master. Specialized in, and after reflecting on it, Nia Aikido was born. Huh? That's an odd origin story. Huh? Uh, how dare you say that? 
Well, fine. New concepts are difficult for people, for people to accept anyway. But one day, I'll make Neo Aikido the national sport. That's my dream. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck surpassing baseball. Anyway, still thinking about the origin of Neo Aikido, I return to my room. I don't know, what is the national sport of Japan? I know they love baseball. Sumo wrestling's pretty good. What else is there? I don't even know. But it is the end of the night, so let's play some sluts while we contemplate on what Japan's number one, number one sport is. Japan, oh, what sport do you like? I'm sure I'm not thinking of something. Like, like very specific. I know they do a lot of sports. I'm not thinking like I'm like, oh, I've named them all. But like, what is their number one sport? So I'm sure they play football, soccer. I'm sure they play, you know, basically all the Olympic stuff. But what's the number one? I really don't know. Baseball number one. No. I don't know. Maybe some martial arts are like the. Nah, probably not anymore. I really don't know. I could guess all I want, but honestly, I, I, I maybe I'll look it up. Can we look it up while we're doing this? Can I mash Y and search on my phone at the same time? I'm going to run out of time before I'm done looking. I know it, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. Japan's national sport. Come on, phone. Search faster. Search faster, phone. Ah, crap. I got 200 coins. Nice. Yup. Yup. Japan's... Sorry. See? I knew that was going to happen. It's hard for me to type with my thumb. Uh, sport. There it is. Boom. Did you have fun? Trade coins for prizes. Do I need any more of those, uh... The, ju the juices? How many more do I got? I got four more of these. That's plenty. We're almost on... I think we're on day nine or day ten, right? So... That would make sense. The national sport is sumo. That's what comes up. Number one sport in Japan. Well, it's also baseball, apparently. But yeah. Sumo and Japan and baseball came up first. So I guess the first two I guessed were about right. That's that's interesting. As the sumo was literally the first thing that came up. But baseball was like I clicked on number one sport and baseball actually was number one, so there you go. Anyway, I got my hundred coins. Let's go hang out with Tenko some more, shall we? Stop talking about baseball! And sorry for my my light bleeding through. I don't know, my lighting is weird today, I guess. Or I'm just I'm not sitting at, I don't have my green screen at the right angle or whatever. Sorry for the light bleed. One of these days, when I don't live in this place anymore, I'll probably set up a better green screen than one that does not attach to my chair, one that I can actually like just have in the background. It'll be easier to manage. Anyway, what does a degenerate male want from me? I wanna hang out with you. Our males would okay, we already heard this. We already heard this one. Probably gonna say the same thing when I give her another the same goddamn sweater. Boo -doo -doo. I really wish I would have got through more of the hangouts in the last two episodes, guys. Sorry for like only getting through like two people an episode. I don't know if I can guarantee I'll get through more than that an episode, depending on how long these take. But yeah, here we go. Tanko. Even though you're a male, you give me something. Sorry. Got it. I already know, Shuichi. You don't have to say anything. Uh -huh. huh? Oh, what are you talking about? You've taken an interest in Neo Aikido, right? No. No, not really. No. Don't worry. Neo Aikido accepts degenerate males, too. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to become the national sport. Necessity knows no law. Her expression says that she doesn't want to. Listen up. First, I will teach you how to mentally prepare yourself for Neo Aikido. Neo Aikido requires heavy amounts of action, so please take caution. Practice is not enough. You must experience actual combat as well. I'm so then, Shuichi, get ready for a sparring match. Wait, wait, I, I can't just start fighting. Uh, don't I need to know the basics first? What? What? There's no such thing as basics in the Aikido. Listen up. Would swinging a bamboo sword in the air help you win in kendo? Likewise, would swinging a bat in the air help you hit a home run in baseball? That's. I guess not. That's right. The only way you can improve is to fight an actual battle. That's the true form of practice. Mm. See, that's probably for the best. Okay, kick my ass. This is starting to make sense. Maybe Neo Aikido wasn't as weird as I thought. Shuichi, you're starting to look more interested now. Then I will tell you the special secret of Neo Aikido. Maybe I spoke too soon. As practitioners of Neo Aikido, Master and I are also heroes of justice. 
Master and I wear masks to disguise ourselves. We serve to save, whether it is day or night. Heroes of Justice? Uh, uh like superheroes. Like superheroes. Ha ha ha! Are you surprised? Heroes of Justice are real! Oh, but you're the only one I told this to, so don't go around telling other people, okay? If people find out about out Neo Aikido practitioners or superheroes, too many males will want to join. I thought you wanted to spread it around the world. Um. So what kind of work does a hero of justice do? <laughs> we do everything! Help an old woman carry her belongings, help a child cross the street. Oh yeah, I caught a thief the other day. I see, you work pretty hard. Yes. We also punish degenerates who cheat, bring divine justice to gropers on trains, and even help girls who just had tough breakups. <laughs> Is that really under the purview of, of Heroes of Justice? What are you saying? Of course! Nothing's more wretched than seeing a girl cry over a male. Sometimes we teach the girls Neo Aikido to help them exact their revenge on males. Huh? Revenge? Isn't that a little excessive? Damn it! What are you talking about? It's those degenerate faults for making girls cry. I wonder how many men have been taken out by Neo Aikido. You don't want to know, bro. Countless. Countless. Still trying to figure out Heroes of Justice, I return to my room. Yeah. Mm hmm. Super important that I do the thing. So, wait, it's day 10 right now or is it day 9? Day 9, okay. So, I should be able to finish hanging out with Tenko. I don't know if day 10 is another three day, three time hangout or if day 10 gets cut short because that's the last day. We'll have to find out once we're done with Tenko because Tenko is going to take up the rest of this one day right here. Anyway, hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like you're talking to me because blah 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 blah. We've already said that one, so blah 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 blah. All right, skip it, skip it, skip it. Just get to the part where you give her a gift, dog. She likes the sweater. To sew half her puppets, the sweater puppets. Blah 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 blah. You want to talk again? You're pretty serious about Neo Aikido, aren't you, Shuichi? Uh, not really, but, uh, Listen yeah. Up. Then I'll teach you some pointers about Neo Aikido that you need to be careful about. Tenko's expression is unusually serious. Well. To tell you the truth, Neo Aikido has a certain weakness, and that's... Okay. Yes? I'm if you get too excited about Christmas or Valentine's Day, your moves become weaker. Uh, uh, uh why is that? Yes. Because Master said so. Uh -huh. That doesn't sound like a very good reason. No. It's an excellent reason. Uh, what are we... I'm so confused about this Neo Aikido. What what is this actually equivalent to? What why is this why does this sound like such bullshit? That's what I want to know. Did her master just teach her nonsense? Maybe he was teasing her. Tenko is pretty gullible. By the way. In my case, my moves become weaker if I interact with males. Also, if I eat more than three sweets a day, or if I don't keep a clean environment. Okay, he was definitely teasing her. Is that the reason Tenko hates men? I will master Neo Aikido! That's why I can't be touched by males. I'm Shuichi, ready. no matter how friendly we get, you must never touch me. Listen up. If you plan to walk the path of new Aikido, you must be prepared for this. But... Is it, isn't it impossible to live without encountering any men? What? Are you saying I can't master new Aikido? Is this my limit? Uh oh, shouldn't have said that. You gotta be kidding me. Then I definitely can't forgive males. If I rid them, then there will be no more obstacles. I already dislike degenerate males, but now I hate them with every fiber of my being. It's how I feel when people think you can simply blow the opponent away with Aikido. Listen up. The point of Aikido is to use your body, put your feet on the earth's ground every day. Unlike males who constantly stick their heads in the clouds with their delusions. Wait, wait, Tenko, uh, calm down a little. Degenerate male. Entire existence is unforgivable, inexcusable. You better not underestimate me. Make me uh, underestimate me, okay? I may be physically weaker than males. It's me but Neo Aikido isn't determined by strength, but instead by how much you slack off. What? <laughs> She's not listening at all. Sneak attack. In Neo Aikido, you can use weapons. You can even attack before the match starts. Those are Master's teachings. Now do you see how invincible it is? Wait. That doesn't sound like Aikido at all. But. Also, isn't your Master a man? You've touched him, haven't you? Oh. Ah! ah! How could this be? You're right. Master is... Master is... He's a degenerate male, too! Do you just now realize this? This girl is all fucked in the head. Huh? You just now realize this? Wow. Thank you, Shuichi. <laughs> Thank you, Shuichi. 
took the words right out of my mouth after I already said them, but thank you. Tenko screamed in panic, then settled into a fugue state and walked away. After watching her leave, I returned to my room. Tenko looked really shaken up. I wonder if she'll be okay. I think we might get a big, uh... Heartfelt reveal, maybe? Or maybe not. I don't know. Big delusional reveal, more like. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's go and hang out with Tenko for the last time. What is the general amount want for me? I would like to hang out with you. I mean, blah, 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 same shit. Same shit that she said in the last one. Let's give her a motherfucking another sweater. How many sweaters can you give a girl? I mean, they probably get all stretched out anyway. Wow! Thank you. Proper girls show gratitude, even if male generous do wrong. The gifts do not. Are you okay? Tinko, are you? Oh, Tinko, are you okay? Uh, you don't look very good. Yes. I'm fine. Thank you, but I know males actually have an ulterior motive when they give sympathy. I can't let my guard down. Oh, she's back to normal. Perhaps she came to terms with her master being male. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a good time to thank you, Shuichi. Huh? You're thanking me? <laughs> Even if it's you, I don't like giving thanks to any degenerate male. That is true. Judging by the look on her face, she clearly loathes this. Why? Well, why are you thanking me? I didn't do anything. What is this? Are you playing dumb? Irresponsible degenerate male? You turned my world upside down. You made me realize something I didn't want to know. Could it be... That your master's a male? Yeah, well, no. Not just that. You made me realize some males are good people, like master. Not just him. I think you're a good person, too. Huh? You do? <gasps> Don't start fantasizing anything weird now. This is not a mushy moment where I start thinking you're special or anything like that. Don't get it wrong. Just because I called you a good person doesn't mean you're special. But even after our interactions, my Neo Aikido moves haven't gotten any weaker. I think maybe any degenerate striving to master Neo Aikido is tolerable. I'm not striving to master Neo Aikido, but I don't think I should mention that. Listen up. Even if you're just a male, you can improve and change yourself through Neo Aikido. Master's a good person despite him being male. That's why he's master of Neo Aikido. Wait, I thought Tenko was the master of Neo Aikido. Then, but again, I don't think I should mention that. That's amazing. He never told me he was a male because he wanted me to realize it myself. Are you fucking kidding me right now? This is the worst backstory they ever gave somebody. That can't be true. But once again, there's no way I'm going to point that out. Shuichi, thanks to you, I'm one step closer to mastering Neo Aikido. You're welcome. We both aim to master Neo Aikido. So, even though you're a male, you're a good person. She accepting me? Finally? The notorious misandrist is actually accepting me. I suppose the distance between us has somewhat closed somewhat. We understand each other. Perhaps that not much that's not much of a bond, but it will do. Ah! I thought I could shake your hand, but I can't. Huh? What? Listen up. Shuichi, please get a sex change right now. Then there won't be any problem. Wait. Wait, well, I don't think so. It's impossible for me to touch a degenerate. It's dirty. I'll become weak. But, but you said I was a good person a minute ago. <laughs> Ugh, that's right. Shuichi, you intend to master Neo Aikido too. But I still can't shake your hand. I'm begging you to get a sex change. No. Uh, no, that is not happening. And we don't have to shake hands. It's Neo Aikido. I know. Master the path of Neo Aikido right now. Then it'll be okay even if you're a male. Wait. What, right now? I'm ready. You can't determine your own limit. Now, have a real fight with me. But I thought you said don't touch. Whatever, dude. This girl is fucking weird as shit. I learned laws of the globe. Of the globes. All right, well, anyway... Spent the rest of the day being roped into practices with Tenko. And, what the heck, most boring pantalones ever. Wow. I guess she probably wears them like, you know, like the, they're like the, 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 the tight Under Armour kind of underwear. Athletic underwear, you know? So she can actually move around properly in them and not get all like, they're not all like cloth and weird when she gets all sweaty and stuff. You know. She doesn't want to be perverted for the degenerate males. Anyway. I gotta say, that was probably one of my overall least favorite, like, hangout background stuff. Even though it was a little bit entertaining, with especially that ending there. She told them to have a sex chain. That was pretty funny. But I had a feeling Tenko was going to be one of the least interesting ones that I was going to do. That For me personally, like, she's okay as a character, but I knew her backstory was going to be weird. And honestly, 
it wasn't even as dark and sad as I thought it was going to be. And it's probably just mostly due to the fact that, as we already know, everything in this game isn't real, man. So the backstories are even weirder than they normally would be because they're not rooted in reality. They're just fucking weird as shit. Like, just for the sake of being weird, you know? And Tenko is a prime example. Like Kaito, too. It's like their backgrounds aren't completely fleshed out, so they, like, have such weird... Like, it's more about their personality more so than an actual backstory. You know what I mean? Like, we just got to see the weird quirks of Tenko's weird personality with a slight bit of backstory about her master and stuff, but nothing too concrete where we're like, oh, he touched her or whatever. That, the fact that he was a he was the biggest thing. Like, what? You didn't even know he was a he? Wow, Tenko's dumb. You just question whether or not New Aikido is even a real thing, which it probably isn't. I'm guessing that day 10 will be able to hang out with somebody for the whole three days. I'm going to guess that that's the case. The fact that they're letting me do this with the, with the, you know, one more round of games would make sense. Probably at the end of day 10, they'll do, like, the review to see how well you did if you actually fell in love with somebody. Which, I haven't done any of the romantic date stuff yet. And still don't know if I'm actually going to do any of that on the playthrough here. I, I guess it just kind of depends on how the rest of this goes and how long I really want to drag out this playthrough. I mostly just want to do the hangouts, guys. That's my main goal. I didn't say I would do everything in the bonus stuff, like, to its completion, you know? I never did say that, so don't hold me to that. Uh, for now, we have enough Mono Mergen for now, for the last day. And we'll see if it carries over to the next round of this when we have to start from day one again. Another 100 coins, and it looks like we can hang out with people again. Alright, so who's next on the docket? We just hung out with a female. Let's hang out with a degenerate male. Who's next, though? Uh, our choices are Rantaro, uh, Kyo, and Ryoma. Where's Ryoma at? I'm kind of thinking Ryoma. Because he's probably the next least interesting person left out of everyone left, to be perfectly honest. Re oh, he's right there. He right there. I overlooked his ass. His little ass. Anyway, let me save it real quick. And also, I gotta sh shift my list down to wherever his face is on the list. Because right now, it's still on Tanko Chapashira. Yeah. The last names in this game, man. I don't know anybody's goddamn last name in this game. I don't know if I should. I mean, I know a few. But I definitely will never remember Tanko's. Uh, where you at, Ryoma? Ryoma Hoshi. Sad Ryoma Hoshi. Let's do it now. What's up, Ryoma Hoshi? What's wrong? What's up? Looks like you got something to say. Uh, I would like to hang out with you, bro. If you've got complaints about me, I'll sit quietly and listen to you. However. But it's too late to change my ways now. I don't know what we're going to learn about this guy. I really don't. I feel like we learned a lot about him just with his, you know, his whole sequence when he died. We learned a lot about his backstory from that. So I really don't know. Spent some time with Ryoma. Ryoma and I grew a, little, uh, grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Hell yeah! What you like, Ryoma? He actually only has four favorites. Oh crap, hopefully I have some of them. He likes candy cigarettes. Let me just check them all now so I know what we need. He likes the workout clothes, unfortunately. Um, he, only, he also likes... The hammock. Oh, sweet. I have four hammocks. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's going to be a lifesaver to have four hammocks. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go figure out, like, you know, what to go. Uh... Wait, what? 130? The heck? It says 130. That's the freaking key of love. I can't give him that. Anyway, I'm glad there's four hammocks, because otherwise I wouldn't have enough. I'd have to go freaking play on the Mono Mono Machine. The other good thing is we're about to finish up the days. So, anyway, I have exactly enough things for him, though. I have four of these, and I have one of the first item, right? Let me just double check on that. I had one, yeah, candy stick. Let's just give him this first, so I don't forget. And then we'll we'll uh, do the, the hammocks for the rest of the way. <laughs> Not bad at all. Sometimes even I want to feel happy, so I'll accept this. Thanks. Hey. Right. Well, why did you come talk to me? You probably just want to hear about how I took down that mafia, right? Huh? What? Uh, that's not what I was planning at all. Sure. Really? 
You've got a nosy looking face. Are you worried about whether or not I still care about tennis? For some reason, that's another thing busybodies seem to care about. Care about. No. No, I really wasn't trying to... Uh, I just wanted to talk to you, Ryoma. Oh. Is that so? You've still got a ways to go. So I was the only one who was worried. Huh. I've still got a ways to go. He did just say that. Well... Well, to be honest, I can't say that I have no interest in your ultimate talent. <laughs> well, that was honest. Aren't you, detective? Such honesty might be as foolish, you know. Might be seen as foolish, you know. <laughs> uh, I suppose that's true, yes. But... Out of respect for that honesty, I don't mind talking about tennis for a bit. Huh? Really? Yeah. That's what I said, didn't you hear me? <laughs> now then, what should I talk about specifically? Ryoma looked downward to contemplation, yet his expression remained happy. It seems as though Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. He puts on an act, but, uh, like it's not a big deal, but clearly, he must really be struggling. Then... How about you tell me about, a little about your friends from the tennis club? Hmm. My friends from the tennis club? Then... The one who sticks out the most is that one guy. Huh? Who? Yeah. Our team captain. I do regret that I was never able to break his zone. Uh, um, his zone? In other words. A skill where he can stay in a single spot, continually return the ball. Huh? Whoa, you can do that? <laughs> huh, not me. Our captain was the one who could do that. I was called an ultimate, but compared to them, I've still got a ways to go. There was also an upperclassman in the club who was considered a genius. He developed counter moves that only he could possibly pull off. He was always smiling, but you could never quite tell what he was thinking. Oh. Speaking of that, there was another upperclassman. He made us drink these weird drinks. They were so nasty, I thought I was gonna die. Huh? It was that bad, huh? Yeah. He said they were made of vegetable juice, but anyone could tell they weren't normal. Hmm. I... I see. Your school had some unique players. Yeah. I suppose. It certainly wasn't boring. But it's a place that I've got nothing to do with anymore. Uh, um, Ryoma. Sorry. I was talking too much. You probably got bored listening. Sorry I wasted your time. See ya. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, right. My bad about earlier, when I said you had a nosy looking face. No. That's alright, Ryoma. It doesn't bother me a bit, because I do, I know. See ya. Huh, is that so? Well, see ya. Okay. I knew doing Ryoma's voice was going to be a problem for me just because my throat has been kind of wonky lately. Really glad I have a big ass glass of water because we don't need it after every conversation. And probably during in a few cases. Anyway, I watched Ryoma walk away and return to my room. Luckily, Ryoma's conversation should be short. Also, I just noticed there's still static on my shoulder when it's complete blackness. Damn it. Why don't you fade to the blackness? Fade, 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 fade to the blackness. Fade, 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 fade to the blackness. Blackness, blackness. Anyway, we're gonna go hang out with Ryoma. Not you, Maki. Gonna hang with Ryoma right now. I'm gonna decline your shit right now. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Uh. All right. Ryoma-chan. What's wrong? What's up? You need something? Yeah. Hang out. Go out of your way to pick someone like me. You're a strange guy. I wonder what sort of life you live to be the person you are now. I don't know, man. I'm just me, man. I'm just trying to be me. I spent some time talking with Ryoma about my life. That's cool. Ryoma and I grew a little closer. Would you like a hammock, my little friend? I'm sure you would. I bet you would. Where is it? Here, have a hammock, dude. You know you want it. Not bad at all. Sometimes even I want to feel happy. So I'll accept this. Thanks. What's wrong? What's up? I don't think there's anything for us to talk about. No. No? Well... I think... I know that Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. After listening to the way he talks about his old tennis friends, I'm sure of it. Maybe I can help Ryoma accept his feelings. Hey. Hey, what's the matter? Hey. Uh, I was just thinking about how, how fun your tennis stories are. I'd like to hear more. What now? You actually enjoyed those? Huh, what a strange guy. We talked about my tennis friends. What else did you want to hear? Then, uh, maybe you have some stories about your rivals? <laughs> my rivals? I don't know if I'd call them that, but there were some people. Do you remember the captain I talked about last time? If I remember correctly, 
the guy who used that zone technique? But There was a guy who beat him. Huh? What? His zone was broken? Yeah. He used a technique called Insight to see his opponent's weaknesses. He made full use of this technique to beat his opponents down. He was feared as the king of the courts. King? However, there were others with crazy nicknames like Child of God and Emperor. Uh, um... Child of God? Emperor? There are tennis players like that? Yeah. The Child of God's aura was a real pain. All five of my senses were stolen. In the end, I couldn't even stand. Huh? Your senses were stolen? Yeah. The Emperor's special technique was called Furin Kazan. I faced it once, but then he unsealed its true power, and it became Fu Rin Ka In Zan Rai. We need all those secret techniques for tennis? In other words, we'd all give everything we had. Being defeated only made us stronger. That was the type of world I lived in. Uh, this is beyond the realm of tennis, bro. I'd love to watch a match someday. <laughs> Don't you get it? You're telling me to play again? Impossible. No. No, uh, well, I would love to watch you play, but I can watch other players, too. Yeah. Then when we get out of here, I'll see if I can get you into a match. But just so you know, I won't come with you. Well? That's enough. If I talk anymore, I'll start to remember things best forgotten. Oh. What am I saying? Huh. It's not like me to get so emotional. See ya. Anyway, see ya. Bye, Ryoma. I enjoy your tennis tales. Tennis Tales! Uh -oh. I was trying to remember what I was thinking. I was DuckTales, but with tennis. Tennis Tales! Uh -oh. Everybody learning about those Tennis Tales! Uh -oh. Alright, let's finish it up with the last hangout with Ryoma, and then we'll see how this ends. Why? No way you came to invite me. You probably won't have fun, you know. Oh, I came to invite you, and we gonna have Sheesh. fun, Will. If you're fine with that, then I won't stop you. Damn right you won't. Too small to try. <coughs> Spent time with Ryoma. Time with Ryoma. Hmm. Spent time with Ryoma. Gave him a motherfucking hammock, you know it. <coughs> hey Ryoma, hey Ryoma. Would you like a hammock from Arizona? Uh. Hey Ryoma, hey Ryoma. Would you like a hammock straight from Arizona? <laughs> Not bad at all. Hey. hey, Shuichi, I'm not going to talk about tennis anymore. Huh? What? Why? What happened? Jeez. Huh. I know what you're up to. You just want me to play tennis again. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I thought so. Hey. Listen up. I'm no longer the ultimate tennis pro. That's just the shell of who I used to be. I threw away my past. But... Did you really, Ryoma? What? Huh? Hey. I don't think it's so easy to throw away the burdens we carry. It's hard to see that what you're carrying on your own back. Even if you wanted to throw it all away, I'm sure there's still there. There's, I'm sure some is still there, clinging to you. Something you can't quite get rid of, like a coffee stain on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a coffee stain? What kind of example is that? No. Uh, well, my uncle used to say that all the time. He taught me that detectives should always look for the stain on people. That's how you find the truth. That's how my uncle did it, anyway. <laughs> so that's something you got from your uncle. Well, I guess it works after all. I bet your uncle's a good detective. I knew it. There's something you're still carrying. Is it tennis? No. No, it's not tennis. It's something that should never happen in tennis. But I gathered my resolve and did it. That's... Resolve? What do you mean by that? More important. Nothing. We were talking about coffee stains on my back, though, right? Sorry, but I've got nothing back there. However... If there was one regret I was carrying around, it'd be her. Huh? Who? Yeah. There was someone I promised my future to. Huh? You mean, like a lover? <laughs> Is it that surprising that I had a lover? <laughs> I'm used to that reaction. Uh, um... Uh, but you said had. Past tense? Yeah. You think a girl wouldn't like that Pillsbury Doughboy-ass face? Yeah. I met her in America when I was studying tennis abroad. She had a hot ass. At the time, I didn't believe in love. I just... <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was a joke. Honestly, I don't know how we fell in love, but she's not a part of this world anymore. No. So she... Yeah. She died. Why? I'm sorry. How did she die? <laughs> I decided to throw everything away. It didn't matter if we loved each other. 
Um, but she was so important that you wanted a future together, so why? Don't you get it? She would have been unhappy being with me. No, not just her. Anyone. What? That's why you shouldn't bother with me anymore. Got it? Uh, um, Ryoma. See ya. See ya. What is he, like a eunuch or something? Just because he a little boy don't mean he gotta be all like, Ah, oh, don't talk to me. Anyway, this is the end of day 10. Let's see what happens. Day or night 10, whatever. Let's see how this goes. Thus, the 10 days that Monokuma gave us passed. And now what? Hey, I didn't get all those dolls. Well, now. well, 10 days have passed, and it looks like... Shuichi wasn't able to seal the deal. With anyone! Well, I wasn't trying to. What happens now? I don't know. Celebs who've fallen from the public eye. Artists whose projects get cancelled. They knew the risk of pursuing their dreams and failed anyway. So they should take responsibility for that failure, right? You're on your own because you failed on your own. So I don't know what's going to happen to you. But it's not my fault. I didn't choose to come here. Your semantic argument makes me want to hurl. You should have spent more time working on your love game instead. At any rate, I don't know what's going to happen to you from this point. Try to escape or give up and kill yourself. Do whatever you want. See you later. Stop eating all Angie and shit. Anyway, he said it in he said it in his unusual his usual sneering cadence, then disappeared from view. His academy is now under Monokuma's control, but that's why I can't escape the despair. I know I cannot sim possibly escape by myself. If Monokuma is gone, then then my consciousness faded quickly. This is how my days at the academy ended. Rip. No, it won't end. It won't end until I die. The ending that will never end. I await with open arms. Okay. Do you want to save it? Sure. Why not? Let's pop a save. I ain't seen nothing wrong with that, dog. D-O-J, baby. Alright. And I guess if we click continue, will it just go from day one or what? Okay, we're back here to Ryoma. Let's just keep it going. I just decided to finally just say fuck it and cut. So let's just go ahead and talk to Ryoma. Spend time together. It looks like we still have my Coca-Cola, so that's good. So I don't have to worry about not having enough of that for the next time around. I should buy some on this night, though, so I don't forget. But anyway, until we get to that point, though, let's go ahead and finish off giving my boy Ryoma a couple more hammocks. We got, what, two more to go, I believe? Yup. Two more round of his voice. Oh. You really get me, huh? I don't have anything to give you. It's, is that okay? Hm, you're strange. Hey. Hey, Shuichi. You know what I'm gonna say, right? That's... I can venture a guess. You don't want me talking to you. Don't you get it? Exactly. Like I said before, don't bother with me. But... But that's not an order, is it? <laughs> True. I've got no right ordering you around. So what business do you have with a guy who throw away his own lover? Because... I can't imagine that you would do something so heartless, Ryoma. You must have had your reasons. Something to do with the Mafia? So why'd you do it, Ryoma? You really want to hear about it? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to hear it from you. <laughs> that face tells me you're not interested as a detective. If that's the case, I've got no reason not to answer. <laughs> it started with an invitation. It was an underground tennis competition held on a Mafia-owned luxury liner. Huh? Underground tennis competition? In other words. They were gambling on the matches. It was just a vulgar hobby of the rich. I didn't want to get involved with it, but they wouldn't let up. I thought I'd teach them a lesson by showing up and ruining things. Gambling on tennis? There's a niche for everything. There's a niche for everything. Jeez. They called it a tournament, but it was just a bunch of fixed matches. I didn't like that, so I pretended to go along with their plan. And at the last second, I crushed the opponent I was meant to lose against. Huh? What? But if your opponent was with the Mafia, that would mean... Yeah. Yeah. Mafiosos get really upset when their reputation is ruined. Back then, I was naive. Too naive. It never crossed my mind that they'd massacre my family for revenge. No. Massacre? Yeah. My lover was safe, but I didn't know when they'd get to her. That's why I had her run somewhere far away. But it was no use. 
They found her and killed her anyway. I was the only one who escaped the Mafia, and even then, just barely. Huh? I don't believe it. I shouldn't have let her go. I should have kept her by my side and protected her. If I'd done that, then at least she wouldn't have done, been alone. Well... You know what happened after that, right? That's... You massacred them for revenge. Yeah. And that's why I was thrown in prison. This is more than I ever would have expected from Ryoma. Jeez. See? You shouldn't have asked. I'm just a helpless fool. Dude, helpless my ass? You fucking murdered a whole group of mafiosos. That ain't helpless. Unable to think of a response, I watched Ryoma walk away and return to my room. Because holy moly, he a murderer. Murderer. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead and finish up uh, Ryoma-chan. Ryoma-chan. Real much hot, cha, 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 cha. Jeez. Huh. To go out of your way to talk to this guy. I know. You're... Only one more round of this deep voice. I think I can. I think I can handle it, guys. And we just got each other's strong points. That's nice. Grew a little closer. I'm gonna give you your fourth hand, make in a row. Hopefully, that's enough. You can make like a hammock fortress. Yeah. If you're really giving me this, uh, you uh, blah, 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 same shit last time. You're... What on earth are you thinking? You know full well you shouldn't bother with me. So why are you still here? I've been told not to get involved countless times before, but I'm... I don't intend on throwing our relationship away, Ryoma, and I won't let you either. Because you knew the consequences, but stuck to your feelings anyway. I respect that. I don't want someone I respect to tell me that they have nothing. That's why I want to stay by your side as your classmate and your friend. Uh, um, Ryoma? Jeez. So this is what it's like to be at a loss for words. You're a bigger idiot than me. Do what you want. But I don't dislike that about you. Then... Ryoma. Please. Shuichi, you got a minute? Let's go to my research lab. I want to show you the showers. Hey. First, go ahead and take these. A tennis ball and a racket? What? I don't know if you've played tennis before, but... You can't hit a ball, right? That's true. Uh, I think I can. It's decided. But I'm going to check your resolve. Ready? Aim for me with the ball. Huh? Aim for you? Or... Try hitting me with it. Right in the face if you can. Huh? You want me to do what? Hit you? Are you serious? What? I said I was going to test your resolve, right? So show me. All right, in the face. Let's go. All right. I'll do it. I don't know what he's thinking, but if this is what he wants... Good answer. I knew you were that kind of idiot. Now let's get stupid. What? We almost stood on the other side of the net, tennis racket gripped tightly, lightly in his hand. Imitating the pros to the best of my ability, I threw the ball up and swung. Pang. My racket connected and the ball flew toward Ryoma faster than I expected. Go uh. Ryoma? <laughs> that was a good serve. I could feel how serious you are. It's not over yet. But you've still got a ways to go. What? Huh? What? Jesus. I stood frozen in fear. The ball grazed by my cheek so close I could feel the fibers. Wait! Wait a minute. You're gonna hit it back at me? <laughs> I never said I would. Don't worry. I won't hit any vital parts. He's got his game face on. What am I supposed to do? Play tennis, bitch. Our fierce battle began. Over the course of the match, I realized why Ryoma would test me like this. Because that's just Ryoma's way. Because during that game, we were both having fun, goofing off, messing around. Oh yeah, like real friends. <laughs> I want to be real friends with Ryoma. I don't know how much time passed. After every drop of our energy was spent, we both collapsed on the court, panting. Hey, hey Shuichi. Even if we get out of here, I'll still be in prison. But Hi. if I ever get out, I'm gonna go pick up, go and pick up everything I threw away. It's too late for a lot of things, but if I can still reach some. I'd like to bear those stains again. Okay. Yeah. Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. I'm so glad that I could help him face that side of himself. That's what this was all about, right? I helped him find the fun of the game again, because of our bond as friends. As long as we have that bond, no opponent will ever beat us. Oh yes. Best friends. Forever. Killer Smash! It's my favorite move, dude. 
Anyway, Ryoma and I spent what felt like hours on the court laughing and talking about nothing. And yet there's still time to hang out. Also, straight up afraid of whitey tidy boxers. Or boxers? Briefs. Whitey tidy briefs. That's the word I'm looking for. Boxers. Alright, well anyway. We got another moment to hang out with another person. So it's time to get started on the next person, which will now be a non-degenerate female. And the only ones we have left are Kaede, Sumugi, and Angie. We need to do Angie. Angie's next. You're next, bitch. We want to play, bitch. So let's save it first, because I have no idea if I have her gifts at all. Angie's actually a little bit intriguing. I'm curious to see what kind of bullshit propaganda... Atua stuff she tries to throw at us. I'm really actually curious to see if there's any any uh, things behind it that we'll learn other than the obvious, you know, propaganda religious bullshit. So let's see. Yeah. Plus she's adorable. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway. Did you come to invite me? Uh, what would you like to do? Hang out. Oh, me, oh my. Do you want to hear Atua's voice too, Shuichi? Then let's pray to Atua first. I gotta get the voice going. Once I get into a rhythm of it, it'll be alright. It won't be as horrible as it sounds right now, I think. Anyway, I prayed to Atua with Angie. Angie and I grew closer. But do I have a present that you will like? Let's find out. So, first off, she likes number four, which I have four, four of those. That's nice. She also likes number five, which I have three of. Wow, what a way to start. Okay, that's good. She likes number nine, which we already gave away uh, the last piece of cake we had. She also likes number 10, which is these bomb gums. She likes a lot of things, which is nice. She also likes this Greek yogurt. She also likes this heart, rock hard ice cream we don't have any left of. She also likes whatever 18 is and 19. She also likes 24. And we don't have any of those ones. Weird. She does like 28. We are, we're out of those. 30 she likes. I have one beret. 31. She actually likes 36. So she likes the feelings of ham. Okay. She also likes... Dude, she likes way too many things. Holy crap. She likes almost everything. 39. 46. 48. Like, she likes everything, dude. Are you kidding me? 46. 48. 58. That's this one. The gold origami. She likes 67. She likes 69. She likes 71. She likes 81. Well, jelly balls. Why well, everybody likes these? Uh, she likes 84. 88. The monkey ball. Dude, I have a ton of these things. 89. 91. 95. 101. 107. 110. 130. She likes every goddamn thing. Like, seriously, those are all in her favorite list. She has the most absurd favorite list of them all. For now, let's give her a goddamn Cleopatra Pearl cocktail. Because why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. This offering will re will earn Atua's favorite somewhat. Oh, let me let me try that again. Oh, I see. This offering will earn Atua's favor somewhat, Shuichi. Rare time. I will pray to Atua for you, Shuichi, so that you may become a gold member someday. Gold member, hey. huh? My favorite. Angie, you have an interesting name. Eh? Huh? Really? Is my name so strange? No. No, not strangely. Really. Are you not from here? I Anji lives with Atu on a divine island paradise. No. Ah, right, but where's the island? Like, what's it like? So divine! It's a tiny divine island. It used to be much bigger. But Atu used a natural disaster to make it smaller, because he thought it would look cuter. That was the reason? Uh... My island had lots of plants and flowers, too, you know. Hmm. Is that so? Uh... But most of the plants and flowers on my island like to attack people. Huh? They attack people? I don't know. I don't Come know. to think of it, I'm honestly not sure if there are actual plants or flowers. Huh? What, what kind of island is this? Well, then. What do you think, Shuichi? What kind of place does my island sound like to you? She answered my question with a question. Come on, come on! If you get it right, Atua will bless you. I wish you divine luck. She hasn't given me any useful hints, so I just have to guess. It's, um, uh, uh, a tropical island paradise? God's bathhouse? his bathhouse. I don't think it's his bathhouse. I'm just gonna go with the top one. Hmm. Tropical Island Paradise? I see. A tropical island paradise, huh? I sort of remember a place like that. Jabba something island, I think. Jabba who? Atua has spoken. He's not satisfied with that answer. No blessing for you. Hmm. I see. Um, 
So where's your hometown, Angie? So divine! In the middle of the ocean, surrounded by water and nothing else. Solitary island somewhere far out to sea? But, but... But to get deep sea deliveries. But I get deep sea deliveries all the time. Huh? Deep sea? As in submarines? Yup, yup! Deep sea is a shipping website. They have all kinds of stuff. It's super convenient. Uh, oh. Ah, that's what you meant. Yoo-hoo! I don't know what you thought I meant, but I use deep sea all the time. I bet deep sea is an instrument of Atua, because it's made life on my island a divine experience. Hmm. Atua works in mysterious ways, I suppose. Of course, of course! Deep sea is how I get, got new issues of my favorite magazine. Uh. And food, clothing, organ meat. How divine! Plus medicine, blood, and even children. Wait! Wait, what? Are you serious? Some of that stuff is a little crazy. Huh? Hmm, how so? If it can be shipped. And Deep Sea definitely stocks it. But, but... Now, if they just stock the f offerings and oop arts, oop arts, that would be so divine. What exactly goes on on Angie's Island? You don't want to know, bro. <laughs> I didn't think it would be dull, whatever the hell's going on with this lady. Anyway, slightly better understanding of Angie's Island, I return to my room. Only slightly. Anyway, that's nighttime. Let's do some gambling, shall we? Some rambling, bambling, gambling, shall we? Oh. You can just leave the casino if you don't want to play, huh? That's nice. I kind of want to play because I want the coins. Otherwise, I would just not play. I didn't realize you could just leave. That's the first time I actually tried to just leave. If I didn't want the coins, I, would I wouldn't bother. But, I mean, I've gotten net gain in coins every time I played this, so it's fine. And honestly... At some point, I may just do this on my own time just to get all the other presents from the freaking uh, from the shop. <sighs> anyway, five bonus games on the way. Let's go. Gonna play this game till my eyes bleed. Let's go. Let's go. Till my eyes bleed, yo. Bleed, yo. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Till, till my eyes bleed, though. Bleed, though. Come, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Till, till my blood bleed. Blah, 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 blah. Until my eyes bleed, baby. I'm trying to win all these fucking coins. I'm gonna cry, baby. Until I get some moss coins. Man, doing that Rioma voice really drive me out, man. For real. Getting interesting. Is there really, though? Dukes is wild. Ace is wild. Scatter that wild. Get all wild. Child style. Break that pile. Did she say you could ship children, by the way? Like, I didn't even really talk about what she was talking about because she's fucking nuts. But I was also trying to think, like, what does Deep Sea seem like it's supposed to be, like, the, the joking equivalent to... Like, is it supposed to be like an Amazon? Deepsea.com? Amazon.com? It would be semi-similar, semi I guess. Anyway. Something like that. Let's go ahead and buy some more of this Mono Mugen. Let's at least buy enough for the whole round. We'll just buy ten of these fucks. And the date tickets do carry over. Remember, I just wanted to know if they did. I'll buy enough to do one whole set of dates with people. I think you have to do five dates with every character if you want to do it all. Um, I mean, that'd be the only way I'd gauge how much money I really need to do all this like, and get all the gifts. For sure, I can start grabbing these gifts now. I have enough money to buy pretty much any one of them, but I don't have enough money to buy all of them. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's just get through it and go hang with Angie though. Cause that's my goal with my shit. I wanna hang out with Angie though. Gonna get Angie done today. No, I'm not, cause we got one more to left. Cause she's only got one done down. And we got three more to go right now. So let's go and hang out with her. Cause she ain't got nothing to I got I ran out of I ran out of words that rhymed. Just move on. I see, I see. I know why you've come. You're here to invite me, right? Atua said that Shuichi would come soon to invite me. What if I said no? That is what Atua said also. He said, fuck you. Atua tells me when deliveries will arrive, or when baseball games will go into overtime. 
<laughs> Hearing the voice of Atua is so convenient. Are you sure it's not just your conscience? You just call him Atua. You named your you named your conscience Atua. Anyway, I spent some time talking to Angie about Atua and his good works. Did you? Did you now? Grew a little closer today. Gonna give this bitch another item that she likes today. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna give her one of these. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna give her one of these. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. This offering will earn Atua. Same shit. Hey, hey, Shuichi. I need your help with something. Okay. I'd be happy to help. Yay! Thank you. Now then, I want you to help me look for something. Leave it to me. That shouldn't be a problem. What are we looking for? Uh, yep. A sickle. Huh? A sickle? Yup, yup. Yeah, a sickle. You know, crescent-shaped blade, wooden handle, cut stuff easily. Uh, um... What are you gonna do with that? Mow the lawn? That's not right. No, silly. I'm going to stab it into my window. Huh? The window? Uh, yep. On my island, if you feel sad and lonely at night, you stab a sickle into your window. Hmm. That's an odd custom. And then? Anyone who sees it can't just ignore it. They gotta go console that person. They gotta do anything they can to console them. And I do mean anything. That's frightening. <laughs> so whenever I'm feeling sad, I gotta have a sickle ready. You're right. I see. Well, if you ever need anything else. Uh... Anything else? Hmm, nothing comes to mind. How divine! You're so nice, Shuichi. I bet you'll come console me when I st console when I stab my sickle. Huh? Huh? Me? Yeah I want to be consoled by you. <laughs> hmm. I see. Oh, yeah. I'll teach you all of my island's customs, Shuichi. You can't do that. First, you're not allowed to feed children after midnight. I've heard of a creature like that somewhere before. Come on, come on. Because it's unhealthy. They won't grow up to be stable adults. Ah, uh, all right. That sounds reasonable. And then? And they have to undergo a divine initiation ritual before they can enter adulthood. A ritual? Like a coming-of-age ceremony? So divine! During the ritual, we perform intense physical workouts. They all become adults at the same time and feel all happy and relaxed afterwards. Huh? Wait, what? Uh, like an orgy? How divine! I haven't undergone my ritual yet, but I hear it's a divine experience. Hmm. I see. Happy and relaxed, huh? Of course, of course! That's right. On my island, everyone shares in our fun. Happy times! At weddings, for example, after the bride and groom consummate their vows, the guests make their own vows, and then they consummate those too. What? Everyone? Thanks, B2 After B2 a B2. successful consummation, the bride is blessed with a baby. Of course, we all share the baby too, using a sickle. What? Huh? What the hell are you gonna do with that? <laughs> just kidding, we can't share a baby. We just share the bride. Huh? What does that mean? This island has a ton of strange traditions. Yeah, you know. We all take turns. Rotation, rotation, rotation. More questions than answers, I return to my room. Boy, oh boy. Sounds like it's an island full of orgies. You can... It's an island full of orgies, and everyone can invite me. Alright, well, anyway. Let's go hang out with Angie a couple more times, shall we? Hello. Atua has spoken. Shuichi should spend some time with me. Sure. Huh? Why not? Atua said so. It would make me so happy if you drew me. <laughs> I'm always the one doing the drawing. Being drawn is kind of embarrassing. I did say yes, right? <laughs> I spent some time drawing Angie. Oh. I'll be a little French girl. Alright. What am I going to give her this time? She got so many things that she likes, man. She can have anything that she likes. And you can have whatever you like. Oh, I do have... Oh, that's the Greek yogurt. Sorry. I'm trying to think... Like, what are the things that I have a lot of that I could give her? Didn't I have a bunch of something else that she liked? 28. 30. So I had to pick one. Let's go ahead and give her one of these. I see, I see. Shuichi, you know how Angie is feeling today. Oh, yeah. With all the offerings you've brought me, Angie must be having lots of fun. Yeah. I would be happy. Mm. <laughs> what are you lying uh, about? Uh, what? Angie was making brush strokes against the canvas, accentuating each with a sexy moan. She looked like a woman possessed as if being puppeted. Jeez. Mm. Uh, um, Angie? Huh? Shuichi? Are you okay? 
You look like you were hypnotized or something. I was worried. <laughs> I'm okay. Atua came down from the heavens and filled me with his holy presence. All of my work is created in this manner. What a surprise! But I'm surprised. Atua usually doesn't come down in front of others, you know. Maybe Atua revealed himself because you're a chosen one, hmm? I was chosen? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, Shuichi, look at this picture. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I cautiously glanced at the painting Angie had just finished. Oh. In an instant, I felt my consciousness slip away like a candle blown out by the wind. Uh? Uh-oh. Somebody getting brainwashed. Yoo-hoo! Hello? Shuichi, are you okay? Are you still with me? Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. I felt like I lost consciousness for a minute. It'll be okay. It's okay. I don't mind. This sort of thing happens every now and then. It happens every now and then, does it? Uh... Is this a normal painting? Um, is this just normal painting? I don't know. I don't know. I just do what Atua compels me to do. Atua works in mysterious ways. Huh? What? It'll be okay. It's okay. Atua is not the scary god. <laughs> just don't make him mad, okay? But, but... Steve, it's rather strange that you fainted when Atua chose you. Um, what exactly does chosen mean? How divine! It means you were chosen. Well, yeah. I see, I see. Steve, I don't think... I think you're somewhat lacking. You're not quite divine enough. Atua agrees to... Uh, um, not divine enough. Because Atua is watching over us. Very well. By Atua's divine decree, your turning begins today. Grinning ear to ear, Angie skipped me... Skipped over to me and... Uh, whoa! Oh, me, oh my. Why are you running, Shuichi? No. You grab me all of a sudden and you try to take my clothes off. Uh, yep. Of course. How else would I provide that what you're lacking? What am I lacking? It'll be okay. I think I'm okay. Thanks anyway. Because Atua says so. Why are you afraid? I know. Atua and I will gently embrace you. Hey! What does that mean? What are you going to do? Huh? Huh? Wait! I just wanted to talk, Angie. Just be friends. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, sorry for yelling, I just... But... I'm just worried about you. Uh. What the fuck? Angie? Uh... I think her, uh... Her shunning of us... So yeah, she took off at a sprint and I couldn't catch her. This is bad, I bet she's really mad at me. Nah, dude, she's using it as a ploy. To get... She's using her feminine wiles and her religious ridiculousness... To suck you into her world, dude. She wanted to pretend like she was gonna suck you off, but she was really just gonna fucking mess with your brain some more and give you a big bosom hug like she did to everybody else. Damn it. I see, I see. I know why you've come. You're here to invite me, right? Yep. I'm here. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Alright. Yep, yep. Already heard that. I heard that. You heard that. I heard that shit. I heard that shit. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give you a dumbass gift. Okay, so I gave her number whatever the hell I gave her last time. Uh, I gave her the pork pork book. Pork book, which was number th uh, 36. She also liked 39, right? Let's give her one of these. Story of Tokono. Or Tokono. Tokono. I see, I see. Yup, 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 yup. I will be happy. I know I yelled at Angie the other day, but I wasn't mad at her. I need to apologize. She'll probably turn me down, but... Yeah I wonder what we'll get up to today, Shuichi. Thought she would be too mad to even speak to me, but she's not acting any different. Alright, time to apologize. Sorry. Angie, I'm sorry that I yelled at you before. Why? Huh? Why are you apologizing? It'll be okay. I'm over what happened. Even Atua forgives you. Huh? Uh, Atua did? Of course, of yep. course. Uh, um... well, what about you, Angie? Are you mad at me? Why? My feelings don't matter. Atua has forgiven you, so it's fine. Hey, Angie. What is Atua? Atua! Atua is God, and God is Atua. He is always with Angie. <laughs> How divine. No. Right, but... What? Hmm? Do you want to know more about Atua, Shuichi? It's okay, I'll teach you. But only you, okay? Smiling even wider than usual, Angie sidled up to me and spoke in a low whisper. Uh... The truth is, my works are divine messages from Atua. Huh? Divine messages? Yeah, yeah. As an oracle, only I can receive Atua's divine messages. Hmm. An oracle? 
She definitely looks does look possessed when she's making her art. Could it be? I... That's why it's my duty to tell everyone on my island about Atua's teachings. Atua's words are absolute, so everyone listens to anything I say. Huh? Anything? Of course, of course! Anything. One time, Atua suddenly told me to throw a big festival. Everyone on the island attended, and we partied all week long. And then? It was so much fun, but since no one worked for a week, it kind of messed up our lives. But, but... But Atua told me to do it, so that's that. Atua gets pretty lonely pretty easily. <laughs> I don't think so. I think Angie is the lonely one. Angie believes that Atua's will is her will. That means that everyone will listen to her. That means that Atua will take care of everything. That's not right. Yoo-hoo! Hey, Shuichi, what's up? What you thinking? Uh, uh, uh too close. Yes. Cause I want you to focus on me. Wow, I can see myself in your eyes. Wait. W wait, Angie, back up a little. Why? 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 Why, why, why? Uh, um... What do you mean, why? You're really close to me and... So divine. I don't mind. I want to be, I want to be closer to you. Yeah, there. Now you're closer to me. Hmm. I don't mind being emotionally closer to you, but can you scoot back a bit? <laughs> Is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. That's what I was the joke I was gonna say, but she kept talking. Anyway, I spent some time being close and getting closer to Angie, quite literally. We got one more to go with Angie, but first, it's El Naito Timo to gamble the night away. What would you like to gamble the night away? Somebody gonna play some sluts. Gamble the night, the night away. Gonna max bet it. Gonna max bet it. Bet it. Gonna 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 bet. Gonna bet. Gonna bet. Gonna bet it. Gotta do something during these segments, right? If I'm not gonna cut them out, I might as well beatbox and talk some shit. I don't know. We got Angie. Who's up next? Who do we got left after that? We got four people left, I believe, after Angie's done. That leaves us with Kaede and Rantaro. Those two I want to save for last. And I believe the only other two left after that would be Sumigi and Kyo. So we're basically down to the last four people I really want to hang out with. Sumugi, I don't want to hang out with that badly because I still think we're going to get her lame-ass backstory in her hangouts. Unless I'm going to be surprised. Um, but I'm saving her for second to last girl just because... I wanted to, you know, since she was such a, ends up being such a big main character at the end, there's no reason not to save her for close to the end. But Kaede's my girl, so we're saving her for very last. Yeah, for those of you who really want me to hang out Kaede, I'm gonna do it, obviously, but we're saving her for last. I said it already. I, I flat out told you in the beginning I was gonna save her best for last, man. I did it with, I did it with Kyoko, and I think I did it with Shiaki, so I'm doing it with goddamn Kaede also, okay? Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just keep it going. Let's just keep it rocking. We got one more Angie thing to go. Let's get there. Let's do it. Let's fast forward through this shit and let's get there. Hold that B button down, dog. Let's get there. One more Angie time to hang out with me. I know why you've come. You're here to invite me. Yes, yes, I am. Let's come hang on, out, my on. Angie. Okay, let's just start from the bottom and try to grab something I have multiple gifts of. I mean, I still have a bunch of the ones from the early numbers, but I want I don't remember what else I had. Like if I go down to the like 107 I only have one of those. 101. I have two of these. 110. This, I don't have any more of those. 130, yes, the love key or whatever. Okay, so I don't actually have that many of those. And I don't have 91. But whatever, let's just give her the damn Marigold Seeds. 101, right? Alright, let's just do that. I don't care. Just give her a damn item. Let's move on. Let's get this done. Atua has spoken. Yep. Shuichi should be my, ter my caretaker. Yes. Because you've discovered what makes me happy. Shuichi, let's do more fun stuff today. Yaha! Yay, I'm with Shuichi again. Happy, happy me. <laughs> yeah, happy. Totally. Angie's been pretty happy lately. I wonder why. Hey, hey, Shuichi. Guess what? I got that present for you today. Angie pulled out what looked like a small board covered in fabric. Come on, come on. Hey, Shuichi. Unwrap the cloth, okay? 
slowly, gently. I unwrapped the cloth carefully, just as she said, and saw a canvas about the size of my palm. And on that canvas, hmm. you made this, right, Angie? What's it of? Oh, me, oh my. Huh? You don't recognize it. It's your face, CD. Huh? This is me? Not only does it not look like me, it doesn't even look human. Here. Yep, yep. I want you to have it. Uh, okay. uh thank you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't faint when you see my pictures anymore. Yay! Yay, I'm so happy I've gotten closer to you. Hmm. Now that you mention it, that is true. Perhaps I've just gotten used to it. That's not right. No, Shuichi. You are chosen by Atua. And now, you're ready to be Angie's husband. Isn't it wonderful? Huh? Husband? What? Where is this coming from? Atua has spoken. Shuichi can be with Angie forever. Oh, dear. Hey, Angie, does Atua decide everything for you? Even your hus own husband? Uh, mm, well, the truth is... Maybe I want you to be my husband. Huh? What? Because... Because I really do want to be with you forever. Does this mean I... I chose you, not Atua? Uh... Are you confessing your love to me right now? Uh, um, are you confessing your love? Huh? Confession? No. Uh, yeah, because you clearly like me and all. Oh. oh, I see, I see. Is that all? You just want to know if I like you too? Okay, I do. There, it's decided. Wait. But uh, choosing a husband is an important decision. You need to think about it more. Why? And why'd you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to you. No, no. But you're not ordinary. My first time is with you. Huh? What? Uh, wait, what do you mean first time? I... You're the first one to ever get angry at me. Oh. Yeah, okay. Since that moment, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I just think about you all the time. I see. I suppose Angie never got scolded before. After all, on her home island, her words were the words of Atua. Of course, if Angie admits that she got mad at me, that must mean that there are those are her genuine feelings, not Atua. That's good. It's a little strange, but there's definitely a bond between us now. Uh, ah, of course. There's still a matter of... Hey, Shuichi. Will you, Will you be, be my, my hus husband and stay with me forever? Sorry. Uh, sure. I mean, no. No, no, we aren't that close yet. I can't be your husband. <laughs> forever? And ever? Anyway, we learned Atua's intuition. Sweet. The most useful move ever. Somehow dodged Angie's proposal and returned to my room, and I never spoke of this again. But we did get to keep her white undies, which we've been seeing the whole game, so no surprise there. She literally just walking around wearing that shit normally like it ain't a problem. I mean, it's not a problem, but you know, like it ain't, like it don't stick out. Like, oh, the surprise, she's wearing underwear, ugh. 